Hi, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You. In this video, I'm going to be going over the um, Azure naming conventions and how you can utilize that in Terraform to kind of help keep consistency across uh, the resources that you're creating. So if you're um, deploying a lot of resources in Terraform or just in Azure or any other particular environment, there's you know a reason that you would want to keep consistency across your resource names, and that's to make things easier to read, understand what things are, and to find things when you're trouble doing uh, troubleshooting. And uh, just, you know, also just making it easier for the business to be able to keep moving forward and um, keep things in a straight and narrow path. So with Terraform, there's a, a module called naming, um, which I'll bring up over here. So basically what this is, is a module has a bunch of abbreviations that can be def, um, defined uh, by the resource types that you're deploying in Terraform. So if you're familiar with the Azure um, uh, Cloud Adoption Framework, one of the things around that is uh, keeping a consistent model around how you're deploying a lot of the resources and making sure things are easily repeatable. And if you're uh, trying to figure out what your naming convention is for a lot of resources, there isn't any one right or wrong way there's a lot of ways you can kind of go about that. Terraform or Microsoft has a cloud adoption framework best practices for um, how to define your naming convention. And you can read up on this in the uh, description down below. I have this link here. But basically, you know, if you want, you can also come up with your own scheme of how you want to name resources and things like that when you're building modules. So check this out. It has some of the different abbreviations for various things. But uh, using this module, we'll go through actually building some things and, and show how this can kind of make things a lot easier on your behalf. So I'm going to take this module and it's just, you know, a simple module with a couple inputs. Um, as we can see here, you basically can define your prefix, the suffix, any unique included numbers. If you want, um, you know, the, the uh, resource name to be unique across the, the uses of that module, the length and then like the seed. So I'm going to go back to my Terraform here. And I'm just going to build a basic resource group. So if I go Azure RM resource. So just a resource group. Let's call this main. And then for the name, it's going to now to use this module, how, how this works is it's going to be module dot naming dot so to call your particular um whatever uh, resource that you're you're trying to build a name for you basically just use the azure rm provider's name just without azure rm so for resource group it's just going to be resource underscore group and then dot name and then we need our location and that's going to be just whatever location you're deploying in so basically what this is going to do here is going to build a name based off of the best practices that's um, defined in this module. So let's go ahead and run that. We're going to do a Terraform plan just to see what its output Oop. It says. So let's actually remove this lock. Where, where are we at here? I had using this folder previously. So let me delete the, all right, let's run an init again. All right. So now let's run a Terraform plan. So now what we're going to have is, uh, the plan is going to show the dash RG because we're not we didn't define and, and I can go back to our module here. So as we can see the name, where are we at here? So the name is just going to be RG and that may not be what we want. And that's why you may have to do a little bit of tweaking with how this name is. So I'll go ahead and show that here in a sec. So if you look, what we want is let's say we want a prefix to that. And how we can find that as well is here. So we got our prefix, which what is what goes in the, it goes in the front, and then our suffix that uh, which goes in the back of uh, 
whatever you would have, whatever the uh, abbreviation would be for that. So going back to our Terraform, let's say we did a prefix of just test. And as we can see here, it's a list of strings. So you want to make sure you put it in a list because you could have um, multiple uh, iterations of what could be in front of the um, RG or resource that you're deploying. So if I do, let's just do a, uh, go ahead and do an apply. So I'm going to build this re our resource group. So basically what this is, is I'm going to build a resource group called test-rg. Now that's not really dynamic, so it's going to be hard to really use this if you have this in some way of building multiple resource groups, or you had this in some type of module that you created. So as you can see here, test RG is what's created. But let's say we want to have this to where it's, um, you know, it's called across a mod, uh, uh, some variables inside of a TFRs file or something like that. So let's create a variable called um, RG name or whatever, let's see. And or let's say RG purpose. And the default is going to be I'm just going to put uh, network configs. So now inside our prefix, we can actually do, you know, put our variable in there. Var dot RG purpose. Spell that right. There we go. So now we can make this more dynamic, and someone can actually have like a TFR file that has a RG purpose in it. And that way, anytime a, a, a resource gets built, it uses this um, prefix um, with this particular uh, module name and the location that it'll deploy it in. So I'm just going to do an apply here. It's going to destroy the RG that was just built. And it should be call it network configs dash RG. So as we can see here, it's going to switch to network configs at RG here where it says forces a replacement. And it's going to build that out. Now you can make this a lot more uh, customizable. So let's say we want to um, throw our environment variable in there. So let's say variable equals environment. And we're going to call this prod. So if we come here, we can do a comma, and then it's going to be dollar sign var dot environment. So now it's going to be RG purpose dash environment dash RG. So let's do another apply and build that out. So now we made this more customizable in a way in which the prefix will always be the same. The only thing that people have to worry about is now is giving the purpose of the resource group and the environment and the dash RG will always be appended. And although we're only doing this for the resource group now, something like this can make uh, things a lot easier to uh, manage because if you have, if you're deploying hundreds of, or dozens of different resources like virtual network gateways, public IPs, um, uh, various other things. It, it can be hard to kind of maintain uh, what is actually needed to, uh, you know, keep the same types or, or abbreviations across the different resources that you're deploying. And most team members may not know or want to keep up to date a spreadsheet of names. And since these are being provided by the uh, module, um, any new ones could be already added uh, down the line. So as we can see here, now we got network configs, prod, RG. And so now let's say we actually want to deploy a uh, other resources using the same module um, naming convention. So let's deploy, like, let's say a public IP. So if I go resource, you know, Azure RM public IP. So for the name, same thing, it's going to be module.naming dot 
um, public IP dot name. Location is going to be Central US. SKU is going to go standard allocation method. It's going to go static and see what the other public IP Azure RM. resource group name so for the resource group name i can actually you know utilize the same you know azure rm resource group main dot name so now i go ahead and do a terraform apply auto approve it already knows what the abbreviation is for the um, public IP. So if we go back into the um, Terraform module and you go into the GitHub repo, you can actually go underneath the docs here and you can go for to define specs and you can see how it has already the different, um, these are the different uh, resource application or resources um, abbreviations that's already defined in here. Uh, looks like it has some missing resources. So if these are anything that you're using, maybe you can pop a uh, issue here and they can get that added. Um, some people even take the uh, the um, approach of actually downloading the module and you know redefining it themselves and and just rebuilding. It. As you can see in the side, their main.tf. This is basically the entire list of things. So you can essentially take this module and kind of add your own stuff in it and kind of just build it off of this so then you don't have to worry about uh, it lagging behind if you needed to keep adding stuff faster. So let's go back here. So now we have our public IP here and network configs prod public IP. So uh, we use the same variables, but obviously you could have different variables. Now, uh, one thing too is you might not actually want the actual full way that this is um being built so you can actually you know say this is a module that's creating a resource group and a public ip and some other stuff you can you know make some other modifications down lower so like say in 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 front of um you know the suffix could be you can add some suffix here but let's say you wanted to add some stuff here as well maybe you don't want to adhere to everything that this is doing you know you could you know Actually put this in quotes and let's say it's going to be AZ for Azure and then now this would be essentially a prefix but maybe you know you want to just throw it down there or you have some other type of reason to start down there you could do something like that as well so you're still getting the benefits of the module, but you're also adding some, you know, variations down here of things that you always want to be there or not be overridden. So stuff like that. So again, that's uh, one way to kind of, uh, you know, keep up with an, um, a consistent naming convention in Azure. Uh, it's a popular module, as you can see, um, based off of the downloads. Um, if we pull that back up here. So if we look at, the uh, Terraform module has quite a bit of downloads, so I'm pretty sure it's pretty active and uh, maintained, as we can see here. Looks like hasn't been to the main.tf. Looks like it's been updated last month. So, and a support for Azure SQL managed instances. So, still pretty active. Again, always I would recommend you know checking issues or popping a question if you have something to uh, that's not working correct. So again, if you have any questions around, you know, uh, naming conventions or how this could also uh, be utilized in the Azure CAF Enterprise Scale, drop me a comment down below and be sure to get back with you. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.